Chapter 16, Part 1 July 17, 2017 I spent a few days editing Rikers and Noel's pinup photos, and although no nudes were taken, they looked photogenic enough to sell online. Even after a week of sales, pictures of the two models were not enough, and I needed some other way to make the money. With me having few friends and a no-show at the party, Drake was my only chance of a contact. We met at the Price Center in the same spot as usual, the second floor lounge. With water polo season coming up, it would be a long shot, but better than nothing. After updating him on TCS's progress, I took a seat on an oversized chair. So, anything happening? First of all... Drake joined me across the way. Sorry about the party, bro. Was in Pismo ripping it up, but yeah, I've got something. I pulled out my phone, ready to take notes. Polo season doesn't start till September, but we've got our first practices coming up, and we need some promos. Why the team's coach wouldn't do this baffled me. Why? Drake sighed, but kept his upbeat tone. Captain said no one cares about us, and we need a kick-ass photographer to take pictures of our games. What's it pay? Talk to him about it. Hell, talk to him about anything polo and he'll get you stoked up. It's Gage, right? Exactly, bro. In two weeks, we have our first exhibition game and we want to play in front of an audience. Bring your models with you. I'm sure they'd have a fun time. I'll think about it. Wasn't sure what would be in it for the models. Drake would be all in for seeing the mysterious Riker Kuzanek, bronzed god of the gay world of San Diego, as he would see him. But to me... Riker was mine to do as I please. Couldn't force him to show up, though. As for Noel, sports weren't his interest unless physics counted. You'll think about it? Think about what? It's water polo, bro. Why settle for the appetizers when you can get a feast? Water polo as a sport could drown in a salt flat for all I cared, but the buffet of shirtless guys piqued my interest exactly as Drake thought it would. Plus, I wouldn't have to pay them. Any of them hot? Well, what's hot for you? From one to Riker. About a Noel point five. Worth it. No disrespect to Noel, but there was a curve. Canyon view, right? Yeah, bro, six in the evening on the 31st. And please, please bring your models. I'd love to meet them. Canyon View Aquatic Center was only a 10-minute walk from Price, so not much further from my place. Its two pools hosted the Triton's aquatics teams, and for the little time I spent in college, I used to swim there a legit excuse to scope dudes. Now I had an even more legit excuse. I'll talk to them. Riker and I met at his condo in the late afternoon. I sat on his couch staring at him as he did a few pull-ups before joining me. I was still thinking about that one night. I placed a hand on his black BBU tank top. That was the most I felt alive. Really, dude he said with a flat tone. You weren't interested? I could sense a shadow of doubt in him and little chance of a second show. Then another one tonight? No, dude, it's gotta rest, you know. How much sex could a guy have before it would be tiring? Did he even feel anything down there anymore? Even though he was my first time, perhaps I wasn't his, not his 50th either. Then again, if I looked like him, I'd be rolling around too but something about him told me he wasn't dating anyone else. Wasn't sure what. Hey, I sleeved my hand through Riker's tank top and patted his chest. I needed some more pinups and Noel's not here, so do you mind? Give me a sec. Close the curtains while you're at it. Riker let me go and went into his room. I rose from the couch and blacked out all the living room's curtains. The lack of sunlight darkened the room to an intimate level. When Riker came back, he was in a metallic red Speedo and carrying a pair of matching silk sheets. I gulped on the inside from the amount of blood spattered red on him. It was scary. Nudity would have been much better. What's wrong, dude? Riker set the folded sheets on the table. I'm scared of red. It's so violent. Red's a passion color. It's all about love. Let's just do this. The sooner I got this photo shoot done, the sooner I could ask Riker out to the water polo game. I posed him against the silver curtains. Fifty shots and ten poses later, we were finished. The silken sheets made Riker look sexier than he was in the nude. As they draped on his warm skin, I couldn't help but to feel that same pleasure as always. But business came first. Once finished, Riker took a seat at his table, forcing me to stand behind him. 
I massaged his shoulders. Reich? Some cosmic cat caught my tongue. Want to go to a water polo game? Water polo? It's like soccer, right? Kinda. Except people wouldn't use their feet. I promised a friend that I'd go to his game, and he wanted you there, too. He's a fan of you, man. Riker shrugged, and I released my hands. A fan? Wouldn't mind giving him an autograph. And I guess you don't want to go alone, dude. I'll come with. All right. I pumped my fist. With Riker on board, I didn't need to ask Noel. He was probably researching stupid engineer stuff anyway. With business out of the way, Riker and I retired to his couch again. He turned on the TV while I rested my head on his lap. Anything to keep that scary Speedo out of my sight. So what's the deal with the Red? He just wouldn't let it go. I told you. It scares me. Justin always wore red. Red to match the blood. My blood. That bled from my frail body every time he beat me up after school. Seeing it in scary movies all the time didn't help either. If Riker wore that green one of his, the shoot would have been much easier. Let it go, dude. Riker sensed the tension boiling over me. Just stare at my chest and take a few breaths. In and out. In and out. I inhaled slowly. The sight of Riker's sexy pecs was calming. All that concentrated power made me lose my train of thought over my terrible brother. As I exhaled, his chest loosened, and his own pent-up energy escaped into the world. Every breath calmed us down more than the last. With both of us relaxed, I was ready to ask him something personal, more than his favorite color. So, Reich, why'd you start working out? Bullies, dude. He took my hand and washed it down his eight-pack. If I looked tough, then they wouldn't mess with me. Every time I lifted, every supplement, anything to be stronger than them. Football players knew not to mess with me, even though it's all a show. Being a meso-ectomix helped, too. What's that last part mean? Body structure, dude. You're a pure ectomorph. It's why you can eat three bowls of ice cream and not gain a pound. Maybe I was born lucky, then. A whole pizza might make me gain weight. Anyway. Riker flinched. As I was saying, the football jocks noticed my gains, and at least physically, no one beat me up. Still couldn't help from the homophobic rants I heard every Sunday at church. But you're not there anymore, right? I had Riker, and he had me. He didn't have to go to his gay-forsaken church. Exactly, dude. Not sure what whack-job religion you are, cosmic shit and all, but if you ask me, there's no higher power, there's no sacred book, and no one rose from the dead. Hate to borrow from Noel's science crap, but God's something people made up because they're lonely and wanted a friend who was always there for them. You take that back. I rolled off Riker and smacked his face square in the jaw. Wish he didn't make fun of my beliefs. Holy shit, dude. He didn't budge nor hit back. Riker took another deep breath. Nice punch, but look at the time here. It's getting pretty late. Anything to get out of here if he was going to rant against my spiritual beliefs. I gathered my camera equipment and walked towards the door. See you at the game.